How's it going guys? Kevin Lezak here with Kevin Lezak Fitness. Now I want to talk about something that I've been seeing happening a lot lately, not only with people that I know, but people on the internet who are always asking me questions and things like that, and some of my clients, some of my, some of my uh, personal clients. The biggest problem I see with people regarding weight loss, trying to lose fat, whether it be show prepping or a large weight loss journey, um, any of that, is people tend to think that you can, in order to lose weight, they just need to stop eating. Just stop eating. That's what people, when people think of dieting, they think of not eating. Not long ago, a couple nights ago, um, one of my buddies was over and he was like, all night you've been snacking on all this food. You've been eating all night long. How are you dieting? And I was like, everything that I've ate tonight, I've been calculating into my macros, into my daily caloric intake. I'm not, like, he's like, oh, it's just weird to me because when I think of dieting, I think of just someone who doesn't eat at all. And it's such a bad, bad, bad misconception that people really need to just figure out. The worst thing that you can do for yourself when trying to lose weight is not eat at all. And I'll explain why throughout this video. What that's going to do to you is it's going to completely shut down your metabolic, me, metabolic rate, your metabolism is just going to stop. And that is one of the worst things, that is absolutely, actually the, the worst thing that can happen to you when trying to lose weight or gain weight or anything really. Well actually, it'll, it'll help you gain weight extremely fast, but as far as muscle build and what, how that goes. Well, when you lose weight, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Obviously, to lose weight, we all know is you need to have a caloric deficit. It's as simple as that. To lose weight, you need to have more calories burnt than calories come in. It's just, it's just that's how it is. So, as far as that goes, someone who, when you're dieting, you, you're going to have a, a maintenance amount of calories. What that means is the amount of calories your body needs to maintain itself right now, the current state you are in right now. So, for example, take me right now. These aren't my actual numbers, but I'm just going to say. Right now, I'm 5'11", I'm 21 years old, I am 182 pounds. Right now, I'm about six, five and a half to six percent body fat. And I'm very close to a show prep, but say my maintenance amount right now was 2,000 calories. If I want to lose weight, all I need to do is eat less than 2,000 calories. So say I take in 1,500 calories. Usually what you do is take about a 500 calorie caloric deficit. So say I take in 1,500 calories. My body is gonna use that food. That 1,500 calories is gonna be used as energy in my body. But since there's 500 calories that I'm not getting from food, my body will resort to itself. So thus, fat stores, even muscle, it will resort to itself for the energy that it needs to hit that 2,000. Now, what happens when you cut down, when, when you drop it so low, people who are down to 1,000 calories a day or even lower than that, which a lot of people lately I've been talking to have been, and it's not okay. What that's going to do is your body is going to see that it's not getting food. It's going to think, oh, okay, I'm in a state where I'm not able to get a lot of food. So it's going to realize that and it's going to make adaptions to that and it's going to slow the metabolism down so you don't need as much food. And what you're doing there is now instead of being at 2,000 for a maintenance amount, now I'm at 1,500 or whatever it be, a lower number than 2,000 now. Because you got to remember at the end of the day, your body, it's, what it needs to do is it needs to survive. So put yourself, think of you're trying to survive out in the wilderness. Say you get in a plane accident and you're on an island, just like all the TV shows. The only thing you can eat is what you find on the island. Say that you're only finding coconuts. Well, there's not many calories in coconuts, but that's all you can eat. Your body is going to realize, oh, I'm in a stranded place. I'm not getting much food. I'm not getting what I need. So I'm going to make changes so I can keep surviving off of that. And even though your body may have may have this many still be overweight pretty large and still have high fat stores if your metabolism is low it's going to use those calories it's going to get used to those little amount of calories coming in and it's going to tell yourself oh we don't need that many calories anymore to sustain life to be sustainable at all so that's what's wrong with eating very little amount on top of that what a lot of people will do is they will 
think they can eat this little bit amount and they can just do tons and tons of crazy exercising, exercise all day long, just keep doing cardio, keep doing cardio, and that's not gonna help. There's people who will do cardio for an hour or more a day and eat 800, 1,000, maybe even less calories a day and they won't lose anything at all. And this is because your metabolism is completely shut down and that cardio is actually doing nothing beneficial to you at all. It might actually be worse for you. So. What I recommend you guys do for this is you need to, first I'll say how to lose weight before you even start your diet. Then later on in the video, I will get to if you are already at a very, very low metabolic rate, how to raise it back up. So think of yourself, you need to find your maintenance amount first of all. That's what you need to do. There's many calculators online to do it. If you're looking for a coach, you can find your coach who will do that all for you. You need to find your maintenance amount of calories. Now, I recommend slowly, slowly adding a deficit to that. Not going straight to 500, just slowly, maybe 100 to 200 calories. And the reason behind that is you'll slowly start to lose weight. Your, your metabolism will stay high because it's such a fast increase down low, metabolism is going to catch that fast. Within two to three weeks, you'll see you just stopped and you, you, you just, you're not losing weight anymore. And say I'm at 2,000, I've been eating 1,500, maintenance amount 2,000, I'm eating 1,500. Two to three weeks, yeah, I'm losing weight, great, it's awesome. But once I hit that plateau, oh, now I have to drop down to 1,300 calories. And who wants to eat 1,300 calories every day? It sucks, believe me. I've been doing it for this show prep. That's a totally different thing though, but it sucks. So, you're at 2,000 calories, go to 1,850 for a week. See how, it, see how it happens, see what happens to it. Go down, then from there, go down to 1,800. Or go down to 1750. Just slowly each week, go down, go down. If you're doing a show prep, it's a little different because you have a, a certain amount of time where you need to lose weight. But set your calories, set your macronutrients up, set up your guideline, follow it for a week, see where you're at at the end of the week. If you lost a lot of weight that week, stay there. Go do another week. If you're still losing weight, stay there. Take it as slow as you can. My show prep, or my, my coach, my show prep coach, Kyle Hunt, he explained it to me as think of making a sculpture, a stone sculpture, what do you do? Do you just, you, you, you use a little chisel and you pick everything out. You're using tiny little chisels to, to sculpt everything. So don't just go in there and just start taking out tons of calories because it will come back to bite you. And now let me get on to what's gonna happen if your metabolic rate already is low. And this is a very, very difficult thing to do. But what you need to do is you need to find your maintenance amount, whether you're probably already at it now. Is say that's 1,500, say that's 1,000 calories that you're eating every day. That's most, if you're not changing, if you're not gaining or losing weight, that now is your maintenance amount. And what you need to do is you need to add to that. And it's going to suck. You're going to get very, very upset with yourself because you're going to gain weight. But over time, it's going to take, it takes at least two to three weeks for your metabolism to make changes according to your diet. So what you're going to want to do is add some calories to it, a couple hundred calories, do it for a few weeks, disregard it if you lose weight, but keep going. You're going to want to do it for at, at least three weeks at a time, add calories, add up to 500 calories. If you're eating 1,000 calories a day, get up to 1,500. Watch yourself. If you start gaining weight, it's okay. Once you do it for three weeks, if you're, then I would, I would even recommend going a little bit higher in calories watch your weight again if you're skyrocketing in weight then it, you might be okay by then but just slowly slowly start adding calories and then once you get through right to the right spot start right from the beginning again slowly decrease slowly decrease let your metabolism work with you because the higher your metabolism is the more you can eat and the more you will lose think this is for example me i was eating around 4,000 calories i was slowly adding calories throughout my throughout my uh off season, my bulk, and when I was eating 4,000 calories roughly every day at the end of my bulk. Well, when I started my, when I started cutting down, I was still in the 3,000s for the first few weeks. When 12 weeks came along and I got with Kyle, I was at 2,800, maybe even, I think it was 2,900 calories, and I was losing weight at 2,900 calories. That is, um, that's a lot. That's probably 900 calories over most people's maintenance amount and I was losing weight at 2900 because my metabolism was so high because of the amount of food I was eating and then slowly slowly I worked it down 2900 then I did 2750 then I was at 26 now I'm at 25 23 
22, and then I went down to 18, and then I went down to 1750, and from there I went down to um, 1500 eventually, and it's just slowly, slowly you gotta work it like that. So that's that's pretty much the basis of the video. Um, after, uh, sorry, my roommate just walked in, but I told him to scoop. So the remember, guys. The worst thing to do when you're dieting is to not eat at all. You need to keep your metabolism as high as you can, and that's the best way to lose weight. So keep eating. You need to track your calories, see how much you're eating, and just slowly decrease over time. And a lot of my clients right now, I'll say to them, you need to be eating 2,300 calories a day. And they'll be like, oh my God, it was so hard to eat that much. It's so hard because now you're eating healthy. Now you're eating very low calorie dense clean foods and that's why it's hard because you feel full and that's what's great about it and then once you start I start lowering it down the weight's just gonna come right off so until next time guys if you have any questions post them below I'll answer as many as I can go to visit the Facebook page Kevin Lezak it's facebook.com slash Kevin Lezak fitness um, if any of you are interested in the body coaching program I offer, if you want me to be your diet coach, your workout coach, I have a body coaching program. It's on my website, kevinleezakfitness.com. Go check it out. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Keep eating. It's not the you, you don't want to starve yourself. Just remember that. Until next time, stay brawly. Keep strong. <clears throat> stay brawly.